What's going on, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. Watch list season continues, and the Smees Challenge continues. Meanwhile, we've got a kook at the Olympics, and we've got a kook wishing they were at the Olympics. Same. Same. Let's go. Let's start this Wednesday off with some football. We are 38 days away from kickoff, and we've got three more Cougs who are making the 2021 watch list. Center James Empey has been named to the Outland Trophy watch list. Linebacker Peyton Wilgar is a nominee on the Bronco Nagurski Trophy watch list. And kicker Jake Oldroyd makes a reappearance on the Lou Groza award watch list. Can't wait to see these guys make their way up the list as the season gets going. Now let me explain how they made it on the list in the first place. You guys got that, right? Good. Just want to make sure I know it can be hard to keep up with all the watch lists. There's nothing better than seeing our Cougars compete, especially when it's their first time in the BYU Blue. Yesterday, Milwaukee transfer Tijon Lucas was fully cleared for the 2021-2022 basketball season. Tijon tweeted about the news saying, bless. bless. Yeah, we're feeling just as good as Tijon is about this. But Tijon's tweet isn't the only great thing we're seeing from our cubes on social media. In fact, let's start with some of our BYU football players who took it upon themselves to put some of their skills to the test. You know, like nunchuck skills, bow hunting skills, computer hacking skills. Well, the balance test, that is. Linebacker Chaz Ayu posted a video of himself and some of the other players balancing one foot on a weight. But just because that isn't hard enough for anything, they had to add some weight on top of that. While BYU football is completing that challenge, BYU women's soccer is completing a different challenge of sorts. Although, by the looks of it, it might be just as difficult. Rick, 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 Ricky Morty, uh, Ricky Morty, uh, Ricky Morty. Hey, now, it's not easy to hit the sneeze. BYU football will likely tell you the same thing. Ricky Morty, Ricky Morty, Ricky Morty, Ricky Morty. But enough of that. How about a different trending audio? The way you betray me. Poor Paisley. Like she said though, maybe next time. While Pays might not be balling out in the Olympics, we do have a Coug that's doing just that. Former BYU men's volleyball player Taylor Sander helped lead Team USA to a victory in four sets, scoring 17 points versus Tunisia. This after Taylor tweaked his ankle and then came back into the game. Next up for Taylor and Team USA, Brazil. Good luck to all of them. Man, don't you just love the Olympics? I love the Olympics. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us the follow, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.